We're here today at Norte Vista High School where these two students are going to compete in a water conservation contest to see who can find the best ways to conserve water at school. Hi, my name is Kimberly and I'm ready to win this competition. I want to make water conservation a forever thing. Hello, I'm Stephanie. I believe water conservation is not about the weather, it's about forever. I'm definitely ready to find new ways to help save the world. Girls, are you ready? I'm ready! In three, two, one, go! If you reduce the length of your showers, you can save a lot of water. I'm saving up to 5,000 gallons each year by limiting my showers to five minutes. You can use a bucket in the shower to collect water while you wait for the water to get hot. I collect even more water while I'm showering. You can use your collected water to flush the toilet or to water your plants. I do meatless Mondays and so should you. A single pound of beef requires 1,800 gallons to produce, so every Monday I skip eating meat. This is a lifelong habit that can save thousands of gallons of water. I go meatless on Mondays too. I like to make pasta on Mondays and then use the water I kept it in to water my plants. Ow! Make sure it cools down first. When I'm thirsty, I drink from a reusable bottle. That way I won't forget to recycle and I never throw away a half full bottle. It takes 44 gallons of water to make each plastic water bottle. So I'm saving water with using my reusable water bottle too. Ladies, your time is up. It's time to announce the winner of today's challenge. And the winner is... Both of you. Yay! With serving water, you are both winners. And so is planet Earth. If you'd like to become a winner too, you can try these same methods that we have learned today and learn more about it at www.bewaterwise.com. Special thanks to our sponsor, Riverside Public Utility. It's not about the weather, it's about forever. Hey son, this book that I'll read to you today is called Water Conservation. It's not about the weather, it's about forever. Be water wise. What's that about? Well, we shall see. The ice and snow in the mountains are our drinking water for summer. Not enough water during the winter means that a drought will come about. So in this story, we'll try to ensure how water during a drought can be conserved. A boy named Curtis watches the news and begins to catch the heavy blues. As he hears that the earth is unnaturally warming, he takes it undoubtedly as a sign of warning. He asks his friends and parents for aid, and within the garage, he's shown what's made. For several years, they've used their brains by using barrels to catch water when it rains. Curtis finds out the following night that it will be raining, so he sets things right. He catches the rain in a couple of barrels to save the world from certain peril. When summer arrives, his family thrives because they decide to be water wise. His happiness does not end, so he decides to tell a special friend. Adam is impressed with Curtis's initiative, but can't help but think that it was tremendously primitive. He has watered his plants well for both winter and spring. He now calls himself the Garden King. Now that it's hot, more water needs to be bought. Adam tries to keep the plants healthy, but his parents tell him they're not that wealthy. Adam asks his neighbors how their plants survive, and they say that they use plants that are water wise. He tells his friend Ben about his feet and how his plants are thriving in this intense heat. Adam claims that he feels like a winner, and Ben recalls what happened just before dinner. Ben was cooking noodles with his dad when he noticed something that he thought was bad. Ben asks his father with a frown, why do you pour that water down? His father realizes that Ben is right and saves the water for the night. In the morning, he went to the lawn and used the water that was still not gone. In the morning, green grass he spies, then he is happy that he is water wise. Be water wise. For more information, go to bewaterwise.com. For local information, go to ledwp.com. Is your home water wise? These homes aren't. They have lush green grass, beautiful hedges and ferns, but all that can add up to costly water charges at the end of the month. You need to be water wise, like these homes. Water saving sprinklers, drought tolerant plants, water barrels that you can use to water your plants after a rainstorm. Because it's not about the weather, it's forever. Take it from these homeowners. Thanks to my drop marks and plants, I only use the water from my barrels and I get paid for using them. My poppies are really blooming this year because of my rotating sprinkler heads. They cover everything. Thanks to my moisture sensing sprinklers, my plants only get water when they need it. Look how great it looks. My weather-based irrigation system picks the best times of day to water 
doesn't water when it's rainy and waters at night so my beautiful flowers don't burn. Thanks to these responsible homeowners, water is being saved even during high precipitation years because after all, it's not about the weather, it's forever. For more information on water conservation, visit BeWaterWise.com. Recent reports have stated that California has been in and out of a drought. It's up to you to conserve our water. It's up to me to conserve water. Water. For more information, please visit BeWaterWise.com. Huh. Dehydration can cause hallucinations. Interesting. Yeah, time to go to the book store. Hey, pass me the book you're reading. Sure. Oh. oh I don't feel good. Oh. Well, I must have gotten knocked out. Who are you? I'm you from the future, Basil, and I'm here to tell you, you're wasting too much water. California is a semi-arid desert, which is why teens like yourself need to conserve. Whoa! So, what can I do? Well, I'm glad you asked. Always. Turn off the faucet when not in use. Keeping the faucet on while not in use can waste up to three gallons every time you brush. Oh, my shirt's so dirty, I have to wash it. Basil, only wash on a full load so that you can save water. Remember, Basil, even though this is all just a dream, water conservation isn't. You have to conserve water. Tell your friends. Of course. Well, I learned so much today about water conservation, and I'll be sure to implement everything I've learned. And I hope you do too.